This video demonstrates one approach to create tooltips for your interface. Follow along as we guide you through the process of adding tooltips to image buttons. Let's dive in. These three lines refer to the image buttons. This is a dictionary table of tips, which can be accessed using the name of the image button. Let's start our Roblox scripting tutorial by creating a function that will handle the display of tooltips. This function will be responsible for making the tooltip visible whenever it's called. Inside this function, we'll manipulate the visible property of the tooltip frame to set it to true. Moving on, we'll proceed to define another function dedicated to hiding the tooltip. This function will ensure that the tooltip becomes invisible whenever it's invoked. Similar to our previous step, we'll modify the visible property of the tooltip frame, but this time we'll set it to false. Next in our tutorial, we'll create a function to set the text for our tooltips. Inside this function, we'll focus on adjusting the text property of the text label located under the tooltip frame. This adjustment will be based on the text passed to this function. With these foundational functions in place, we'll now implement the behavior for the mouse enter event on our image button named image button inventory. We'll call the show tooltip function and also the set tip function. In the latter, we'll pass the relevant tooltip information retrieved from a dictionary table using the image button's name as the reference. We'll follow a similar process for other image buttons, replicating the sequence to ensure consistent tooltip functionality. Lastly, to conclude this tutorial, we'll handle the mouse leave event on all the buttons. This event will trigger the hide tooltip function, leading to the tooltip being hidden from view. If you found this tutorial helpful, I would greatly appreciate it if you could consider subscribing to our channel and giving us a thumbs up. Your support truly motivates and fuels my passion to create more tutorials like this one. Thanks for watching.